Hey guys, this is my review of the M1A1 Carbine, the semi-automatic assault rifle that was added in the recent patch. I'll be giving all the damage stats as well as a comparison against the M4 and the AK and then my own opinion of the gun. So then, the damages. At close range you're going to do 100 to the head, 34 to the chest and arms, between 40 to 41 to the body, and 23 to the legs. With armour you'll still do 100 to the head, you'll do 26 to 27 to the chest and 32 to the body. At a mid sort of range you'll still do 100 to the head, 30 to the chest and arms, between 34 to 35 to the stomach, 21 to the legs, and then with armour you'll do 100 to the head, 24 to the chest and 28 to the stomach. At long range you'll do 82 to the head, 20 to the chest and arms, 24 to the stomach slash body, 14 to the legs, and then with armour you'll do 63 to the head, 16 to the chest, and 19 to the stomach slash body. And then through a box you'll do 45 to the head, 11 to the chest and arms, 13 to the stomach slash body, 7 to the legs, 34 to the head with armour, 8 to the chest with armour, and 10 to the stomach slash body with armour. Right then, the comparisons. It's probably fairly obvious, but the M1A1 carbine is not the fastest firing of the three guns. The M4 is fastest, the AK is second fastest, and the M1A1 is last. Now for the reloads, the M1 again also has the slowest of the three, the AK is fastest, the M4 is second, and I'll replay it again in slow motion so that you can see the difference between the three. Now the M1 actually has the fastest draw speed of all three, the M4 is second and the AK is last of all three. It's very minuscule the difference so I'll replay it again in slow motion so that you can see. And then my own opinion of the gun. Now I honestly think that this gun is really good, I, I love the fact that it's semi-automatic. Why couldn't the M14 be like this? This is what the M14 should have been. A semi-automatic rifle. The M14 EBR is a semi-automatic rifle. It's not fully automatic. I love the, the just the general look of the gun. I think the sound's a bit... It's It fits the gun. It's not great, but hey. The whole reload, draw speed, etc. They're fine. They're not big enough of a kind of difference to hinder you in any way. The only downside, I think, is that if you ever come into a close quarters battle with someone, not sure you've got the great power of the gun. The main problem is that it's not fast enough for you to win most of the time. Unless the enemy's got a fairly low amount of HP, you won't get enough shots into them before they get enough shots into you. And any M4, any AK, any... etc. Any sort of rifle, SMG, etc. will take you down before you take them down. I do think that the gun is worth it if you want something different. It's great at what it does. It's a great semi-automatic rifle that's fairly good at ranges. It has next to no recoil whatsoever. You can spray it at a wall and it will either go nowhere or ever so slightly upwards. It won't go left or right whatsoever. Unless, of course, say you're jumping or something like that, then it will bounce around the screen like any other gun. If you are going to go for a different rifle, this would be the one to get. I wouldn't say go for an AK knife over this, I'd rather go for this. This is one obviously new, you're gonna get more fun out of it for one because it's different. It takes a bit of a getting used to to get the playstyle. You've got to you've got to adjust to the playstyle with this because you can't just sit there in a corner and spray the living hell out of it because you've got to repeatedly click. You've got to aim the shots, you've got to... you can't just in some sort of respect, not think about where you're shooting with, say, an M4. Say you could go into a TDM with an M4 and just sit there and you can't do that with this gun. You have to be on your toes at all times. It is really good. I would recommend it. Yeah, <laughs> if you can get it, go for it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the quick review of the M1A1 Carbine. Thanks to Demonite who helped me out with a little bit of the review. Also be sure to check out all the other reviews that I've done throughout the course of the past few months. Be sure to subscribe for more. I've got the Gold Gatling Gun coming out on Friday. I'll have something else out on Monday and then after that it will be all the second set of the patch guns. So yeah, be sure to subscribe for them.